In November, our region's voters will consider a ballot measure called Sound Transit 3, or ST3. This video gives an overview of the ST3 projects in Pierce and South King counties. Pierce County and South King County are growing. In Tacoma alone, the population is expected to grow 64% by 2040, along with an 89% increase in jobs. ST3 would extend light rail 15 miles south from Kent Des Moines to Federal Way and then on to Tacoma. The line would have two stations in Federal Way, as well as stations in Kent, Fife, East Tacoma near Portland Avenue, and the Tacoma Dome Station. Service from the existing light rail line in SeaTac would begin running to Federal Way in 2024 and then on to the new line in Tacoma in 2030. Light rail stations with local bus connections to and from Pierce and South King communities would give residents access to a 116-mile regional light rail system with service all the way north to Everett, as well as Seattle's Ballard and West Seattle areas, and east to Bellevue, Redmond, South Kirkland, and Issaquah. With the new line, a passenger boarding in Tacoma would be at SeaTac Airport in 33 minutes, and from there to downtown Seattle in 36 minutes. ST3 would also build a Tacoma Link extension to Tacoma Community College. The line would include six new stations. ST3 would increase capacity on the Sounder South Line by lengthening trains and platforms from seven up to 10 cars to serve over 40% more passengers. Potential track and signal upgrades and other infrastructure would provide capacity for additional trips. Sounder commuter train service would also extend to new stations with parking at DuPont and Tillicum near Joint Base lewis mccord In addition, more parking and investments for pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers would improve access to Sounder stations on the growing South Line. The ST3 plan includes Bus Rapid Transit, or BRT, from Burien and Retton north to Bellevue, Kirkland, and Linwood, running in the HOV and toll lanes on SR 518 and I-405. Bus Rapid Transit service would begin in 2024 and run every 10 minutes during peak commuting hours, offering riders faster service than traditional buses, enabled by infrastructure investments such as inline stations that allow quicker stops and using toll and HOV lanes. If voters approve the ST3 plan in November, the typical adult in the Sound Transit District would pay about $169 per year, or about $14 per month, in new taxes. Sound Transit's subarea equity policy ensures that taxes raised in Pierce County and South King County are used on specific projects and services that benefit that area. More details and the full list of ST3 projects is at soundtransit3.org.